anytime you're holding a joystick in any direction, it's sending a constant stream of input data to the game. On the other hand, when you're using a mouse, it only sends input data as it's being moved. So in order to get smooth, constant data, you have to be constantly moving the mouse. The problem with that is if you're constantly moving the mouse, you're gonna run out of mouse pad space, and then you're picking it up, moving it back over, and that's just a pain in the ass. Nobody wants to deal with it, and it gives you jerky movements every time you have to pick up the mouse. Now the solution to this is quite simple. All you need to do is turn your sensitivity way up. That way you can keep moving the mouse very, very slowly and get the same turning effects. The slower you move the mouse, the more mouse pad space you have, and the less often you have to pick it up and move it. Any mouse where you can toggle the DPI higher or lower as you're playing the game will really come in handy. That way you can toggle it up as soon as you hop into a jet, but as soon as you get out you can take it back down so that you can aim properly with a gun. As you're playing, just remember that what you're trying to do is emulate a joystick by doing slow, smooth, steady movements on the mouse. Nothing quick, nothing jerky. Anytime you jerk the mouse from one place to another very quickly, it only recognizes that input for a second or two. As soon as you stop moving the mouse, all of that input is lost. It only recognizes input if you send it a constant stream. There's a limit to how fast you can turn in a jet, and if you're moving the mouse faster than that speed limit, you're wasting your time. Focus on slow, smooth movements, and before long you'll be able to do everything you would be able to do with a joystick using a mouse. Of course, using a mouse is still a lot more work than using a joystick because you're constantly moving your hand around instead of just leaning on a joystick. If you've got 20 bucks lying around, I highly recommend you just go order one. They're really nice to have, especially if you plan on doing a lot of piloting.